Hello and welcome to Top Stories on Viewer Television. I am Patient City. The federal government said it had improved water supply in the country through the rehabilitation of river basins. It also stated that it had completed the rehabilitation dam across 22 states while it continued to work on several dams projects. This was contained in a 60-page report made available to newsmen. The report titled President Mohamed Buhari's administration scorecard in water sector 2015 to 2023 was presented by the Minister of Water Resources, Suleiman Adamu, in December 2022, while stating that the ministry initiated or inherited 116 water supply and hydropower irrigation projects since the 1980s. The ministry also stressed that it had completed hundreds of projects through the river basin authorities to improve water uh, supplies. And now, electricity consumers yet to pay their bills. To the Inigo Electricity Distribution Company are to enjoy 30% discount if they pay before December uh, 31st. The Bonanza Court name areas in one time settlement scheme is to encourage the settlement of the bills and also a gesture to mark the Yuletide period. The EEDC's uh, spokesperson, Emeka Eze, said in Inigo. Eze warned, however, that uh, those refusing to pay stood the risks of supply disconnection. Uh, he said the company had started this its network or the network maintenance to deliver steady power supply before, during and after the Yuletide period. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has declared that it was working with the Independent National Electoral Commission and security agencies to, elim to eliminate vote buying and will ensure it prevents in the forthcoming general elections. Speaking at the commemorative event of the United Nations International Anti-Corruption Day 2022 in Abuja, the chairman EFCC Abdul Rashid Bawa said the importance of transparent, free and fair elections could not be uh, overstated. Anti-corruption agency that were at the event included or including the Nigerian Extractive Industry Transparency Initiative and the Interagency Tax Team, among uh, others. And now the World Bank has said that development progress in the country has slowed down since 2015 when Mohamed Buhari was first elected as president. According to the World Bank's Nigeria Republic Finance Review uh, report title, A Better Future for All Nigerians, 2022 Nigerian Poverty Assessment, Nigeria performed well between 2001 and 2014 with an average growth of 7% and was among the top 15 fastest growing economies uh, globally. The bank further said that it would take about a decade for Nigeria to return to its uh, GDP per capita uh, level of 2014, adding that the real capital income fell significantly in 2021. And now the state on Friday screened the two newly reappointed deputy governors of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Aisha Ahmed and Edward Adamu. Uh, the Red Chamber had on Wednesday a plenary commission, the Committee on Banking, Insurance and other financial institutions to get clarification from the Apex Bank chiefs when they appear for their reappointment screening. React or reactions have continued to surround the policy of the CBN to limit cash withdrawal for individuals to 100,000 naira and corporate bodies 500,000 per week. The deputy governor, however, told the committee that it was hard time the country embraced the policy. Newsmen observed that the senators simply asked the un or asked for an explanation for the deputy governors without further probing on the details of the policy. UNICEF has warned that over 300,000 children may die of severe acute malnutrition if the Northeast 
in action or are not taken urgently. Uh, the, new, the new UNICEF representative in Nigeria disclosed this during a media chat with journalists in Maiduguri. She stressed that about 3 million um, boys, girls and adolescents across the state of Brno, Adamawa and Nyobe are also suffering acute malnutrition. Christian Mondon added that only 29% uh, of school have teachers with minimum level of uh, teaching qualification. She further revealed that 1.9 million children uh, still do not have a access to the education and is disturbed that mal or malnourished children are high risks of death if not addressed urgently. We have women having seven children per woman and without no economic means to provide them a future, right? So that is why it is important that both girls and boys have access to school so they can prepare themselves to life. Total number of, of teachers that we have, we are more or less on the number of 124 children per teacher. That is not humanly possible, right? And that's all the top stories. I am patient, CD. Please enjoy the rest of our programs.